I am sure you remember this wonderful haunted house over here, because we are back in the original leafy lake from Rollercoaster Tycoon to build yet another habitat. And today I'm following one of the suggestions from you guys in the last episode. We are building a haunted house and what better animal than the hyena to go with. I have been uh, having a blast building this wonderful house, but it took me longer than I was expecting. So we are starting off this episode with a bit of a time lapse over here. Um, I kind of try to, you know, realize this building as close as possible to the original, but still kind of, you know, go with the Planet Zoo vibe and building just as we did through the toilet uh, in the last episode. And just for those of you who clicked into this video and you're not aware of what we are doing, really, um, here's a brief summary. So this park is a franchise zoo in Planet Zoo, but it is based off of the second scenario of um, Rollercoaster Tycoon. Oh, is it actually the second? I think it's the third or so. Um, well, it is Forest Frontiers, Dynamite Dunes and Leafy Lake, I believe. So it's the third, okay? I'm sorry. Um, but uh, this is the basic idea behind this and we are going to, you know, kind of uh, build upon what this map offered, uh, but obviously in a style and vibe in Planet Zoo as a zoo. And uh, in every single episode, we are going to have one item, one story element, one connection to the OG. So we already had this original slide from Rollercoaster Tycoon, that wonderful yellow and red uh, lighthouse style slide. We already had a, uh, the information booth, a wonderful cool one. We had the entrance, you know, the, the park entrance is the original entrance. Uh, we had these swan boats for the swan ride uh, just before we had the swans. Uh, by the way, we still have to bring the swans into this park, I, I just figure. Uh, and so goes on, you know, and today we also have the wonderful haunted house and it, you know, it gave me a bit of a struggle to really find the exact and perfect dimensions. It, it's not the perfect dimension as of now, but um, I still believe it kind of looks good and it's going to be looking really cool at the end uh, with like, you know, with some dead trees in here and, and having like a haunted style uh, railing around and, you know, it's, it's very fitting for the hyena us. Um, really like that. I think it's a very fitting, you know, uh, thing to take. And obviously the building itself um, acts like a wonderful shelter for them too. So everything at once just perfectly works out. And I'm very happy with how it worked out. I tried to make it um, nice looking and you know we are in franchise so I didn't went too crazy with all the details. I still spent quite a significant amount of money from our uh, bank account in this franchise park but I'm still very happy with how it turned out despite the fact that I'm not completely limitless in my usage of pieces that I usually do uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm very happy okay I'm very happy with how it turned out and you can see I used a couple of uh, different pieces to abuse them in many ways but I ended up using these light bulbs um, if you look at the original uh, layout which I have uh, brought in at the beginning of the video so if you want to compare just skip back to the beginning you're gonna see the screenshot I used as inspiration from the build um, th there were a couple of things that you can only figure out what it is but you know I didn't want to completely do a one-by-one -one replica and so I try to um, do an interpretation of certain elements and uh, also give it a bit of a more realistic appeal to it like the See, see, the beauty of Rollercoaster Tycoon was that it is kind of isometric and uh, basically a 2D graphic and you can more or less ignore certain factors of physics and reality when you do certain things like that. And as soon as you basically do something like that in reality, um, which, well, it is not reality, but in, <clears throat> in like a proper 3D environment, um, things start to you know, look different, turn out different. It's, it's a matter of perspective as well because the um, so yeah, uh, I don't know. It's 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 all good um, as long as uh, you find a way that it suits your style and it looks good. I'm such a huge fan of how the original Royal Coaster Tycoon style is, and I I still believe it holds up till this very day. Even though I have to say I'm a bit, bit mad because I wanted to play the uh, Royal Coaster Tycoon mobile version lately because they actually I, I think it's maybe the last thing that 
was great from the uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon franchise was the actual mobile app for Roller Coaster Tycoon original. Um, I mean, I, not not the mobile game, which is like pay to win, whatever. I mean, really the OG Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 mobile app. And uh, it's not playable anymore on the newest version of Android. And I'm like, what the heck? Why? And this is, I, I wanted to play it before I was building in here. Ah, so I had to go back and, and do it on the computer. Whatever. Uh, we are already on the second uh, level of the building and um, it's it's kind of looking super nice and I struggled a bit to find the right roof sizes in order to not go too great and too big, but I at the same time wanted to make this a um, focal point from the opposite side of the lake. So once you're standing on this little pier from where you can grab some of the swans of the swan ride, uh, it just makes complete sense to see that and um, you know uh, that this is some somehow guiding you towards the other side of the lake. Uh, because it's literally like a quite big lake and uh, in order to go there you have to have something that just drags you there and this is what the building should also uh, act as and uh, you know my friend Sylph would call that one a weenie uh, for those of you <laughs> who don't know I still don't believe that it's impossible that there's anyone out there who has never heard of it but a weenie is a building in a park theme park uh, you know just landscape that is used to dra uh, draw people's attention towards it you know usually it's like towers or sometimes it's like a coaster or it also can be like a hill point uh, viewing tower or certain certain way of how trees are planted or so just something that people that give people orientation in a way uh, but also guide the interest and and views and stuff so this is what i also try to do with this one over here uh, because that is literally the building that is the easiest to spot from the opposite side of the lake yeah we're already at the point of detailing so um, it's not long until we go into the real-time part of today's episode so I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, little speed build part and uh, as always if you want to support me make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already or like the video also I want to try that now um, YouTube said that in the latest update if I say like the video and you go down to the like button there is a little animation of it so I'm just saying that again like the video and you figure out if there's something happening with the like button uh, and if so let me know in the comments I, I, I saw that with others but I don't know if it's working for me anyways let's go into the real-time part all right there we are in the file and you can see there is the building uh, we are going to quickly go and do some terraforming around it but you can see this is the view of the lake and I'm just gonna fly over to show you also it's very crowded over here um, I have the game on pause because the light conditions are pretty good to build so uh, that is why um, we're doing kind of okay you know there are a couple of things um, that are not working oh this facilities without power I think we left off last time noticing that we don't have power over here uh, this one is just having like a very 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 small area of influence you know I just go get, we're just going to quickly put something down um, I think I'm just gonna put a wind turbine down this one is relatively nice I'm gonna put this in the in the forest back here oops and just gonna drag that over and you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go and take a path over here and do that two meters fine and then oops why is that why is that even raised okay well what the heck let's just move that down Hello, can you just tell me why the heck is this raised? And why can I not, eh? Why can I not, okay, I can't even move it with, uh, with uh, what is, what is, what is even happening? For a random reason, I just can't use the gizmo, but okay. I'm just gonna drag it down like so. Ah, now it flattens to the ground, so yeah, there you go. This is what I was looking for, and, um, there's two meters and there you go now we can make it meander through here i'm just gonna hello i don't wanna i want make something fun just gonna bring this very close here to the building and then something like so and we're gonna delete one of these trees can just go over there you go it's like a little small area for for the staff you know to go by okay now we fix this um i just wanted to show you the view sorry i got distracted um this is the view from over here and we can stand here and you can see there you go you can see the wonderful little haunted house on the opposite side of the lake we're gonna keep this view clear um it's relatively far away so even if you go into the explore mode you can see zooming in isn't uh, revealing too many details of the build um 
But I think it's enough to direct the people's attention. So whoops, uh, what we're going to do is we fly over real quick. Oh, and before we do so, look, we have an issue over here. We don't have uh, conservation credits whatsoever. So I'm just going to see if we can sell some animals at this point. Okay, Igor is not even old enough uh, of our lemurs. How about the welfare, by the way? Okay, it's just Alexi not doing good. Uh, we again just have so many raccoons, but they're all not grown up, so we can't even get rid of those either. Um, my God, look at look at all these babies. They're still doing good. It's okay, whatever. Um, and you can see there are also a couple of those uh, wonderful oryx we can maybe sell at some point. So the giraffes. We've got of zebras um, that can be sold maybe. I think these two born in the leafy lake too. We can actually release them to the wild. Okay, well, that's not that much money we get. Um, anyways, we go to the animal trading and we say hyena and I think go with the go with the spotted or with the striped huh I'm not sure which one I want to go for but I'm gonna get both first of all so we can decide later don't they live like in bigger groups so I can get a couple of more females actually I have to double check I know that we have a chance so that was the striped hyena and so, yeah, we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go for the striped hyena. This one looks a little bit cooler. Um, up to six males, up to one female. Oh, yeah, that was the opposite, right? Exactly, for the International Women's Day, we take uh, this animal. How fitting. Of course, we do that. So, let's get a couple of guys to be led by a wonderful female. Um, that is absolutely the perfect way to go. Awesome. Now, we got them for money, which is great. So, we can actually go on here. Now, what I said, um, we're going to make this like a little bit of a raised building. Which um, is like a little bit of the haunted house in Disneyland Paris as well inspired, you know. Normally, these haunted houses are always like on a little bit of an incline. And just think this looks really cool if they are like a, on a little hill, you know. Just giving them this bit of a raised position makes the house even more, not even haunting, but like a little bit more of a special thing, you know. I think this is this is what you can call that. I'm just going to move. Uh, let's just make that a little bit smaller in size and so we can drag this a little bit further and also make this maybe a little bit more gentle at certain stages. And I believe we will be able to use like a lot of sand around here. So that's going to look also very neat. So let's see if we can do that. So this is pretty cool. Like the only, I mean, the only downside is going to be that the guest will always have to look up here. But, uh, you know, that's that's the way it is. They have to deal with it, okay? Um, I'm just going to quickly create a fence that hopefully looks good. Because um, this one is going to be rather easy to build. So I'm going to, shall we actually do this perfectly round? I feel like I want to. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, let me let me just do this like this. We're gonna put down the mud pillar. Don't worry, I'm just gonna use this here. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna do it that way. And let me let me type in twilight because I feel like there is a very nice stone piece I want to use for that. Uh, the, the the mason brick is perfect for that. This is absolutely amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna go and make sure that this is gonna be put here. And how big want to make the circle? I think that's going to be the circle. Okay. Well, we are not going to use the grid piece, obviously, because that's going to look a bit odd. But we're going to use this free piece. Or actually, how is it looking if I use them this way around? Ah, nah. You know, I'm just going to use them the other way around. This is looking better. Okay. We're going to use this and just replace this piece by... There you go. I just put it here. Mm to ensure it's exactly at the same side. And now we can get rid of this one. Awesome. So this is gonna be our main fence type. And what we're gonna do is, oh my God, that is a little bit too thick. There you go, that's the smaller one. And I'm gonna make this properly high. So that should be good. And then we can also give that a bit of a detailed look. Mm. There are some other pieces that may look better. This one is good for the ground. Just give it a bit of a nice look. That's just a little bit too much over here. Would this look good in here? Yeah, that looks good. If we have like a bit of a nice appeal to this side. And I'm just going to move it to the other two. Hopefully it's looking good. Let me just see how that looks if I do put it 
Okay, that shall be good. I'm, you know, I'll fix that later if that's not perfectly fine. But I think it's gonna, it's gonna look good the way it is. Um, and then we're gonna get some wood down here as like a little wooden element. I think the the wooden element is very much needed. And then we have this this iron bar that also can be put down here to the ground. There you go. And then we will also use. I mean, these twilight window panels are also pretty damn nice. But I don't want to use too much of these window panels because, I, you know, people looking all the way through these things is kind of annoying. So I'm better off using these things over here. There you go, like the proper iron fencing. And I'm not going to use it, or do I? This is a bit too straightforward, isn't it? It's not like typical Rudy abusing pieces in other way rounds. Okay, let me just see how that looks, but I feel almost like we have to go with a normal version. Huh. It's not too bad, but I wanna I wanna just quickly get the comparison next to it. Huh. Honestly, this is giving the whole thing a bit more character. I actually will go with this variant. I didn't think so the first second, but I'm just gonna use that one instead as like a proper piece to the top to top it off oh actually you know what? I'm just gonna top it off here in the center of those two pieces there you go love it I love it I think this is I think this is good looking okay um I mean we could also put this one in the center I don't want to I want to get something that is hugging around the corner here in the foreground just to make that look a bit more nice sweet okay in my opinion that is almost it uh, this is this is exactly how it should look it's like a simple fence the only thing is i'm just gonna adjust the color of those a bit that's too bright and i want to make this a lot more rundown so let me just bring that a bit like so and then the, the brick also can be a little bit more muddy a little bit yeah i look at that a little bit more moss in between and then we have the brick color too. It's not like green green, but like a little bit of green. There you go. And what one is that? Okay, that's the upper row. This Actually, you know what? The upper row can be a bit darker because it's below that wooden piece. And we can actually make that wooden piece also a bit more green. Maybe we just go make that a little bit. Yeah, there you go. That That is better. It's not like super green there you go oh look at the different color shift i like that this looks run down enough um also let's give this one the correct tone there you go okay cool now as this is done i'm just gonna draw the circle around i'm not sure if so i'm gonna put this in the middle over here hmm yeah from its size i think that's definitely enough i don't know i don't want to go too crazy so that's definitely the size we go for and then let's put that in the center. Okay, it's it's actually a problem that I can't... There you go. Now, I, for whatever reason, it works. Okay. Um, I'm going to drag it down here. So the question is, maybe let's see. Are we too far away on the other side? Yes, we are. So I'm just going to drag it over. Hmm, maybe we have to make it a little... Okay, the game just uh, crashed again. I don't know what this is, but my franchise is super unstable, unfortunately. You remember from the last two episodes that we had these ongoing crashes and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to be a little bit more uncertain and uh, uncomfortable building, but whatever, you know, there's not really much I can do about this uh, other than just keep playing it the way it is, you know. Um, however, uh, I have managed to recover relatively quickly, so we didn't lose that much because of autosave still being activated, gladly. Um, I have done just a couple of things, you know, for me it was more because I needed to do a couple of things and recover it, but um, from the cut, if I could recover the other file, you can basically see how it is <coughs> this is the building 
with like the round fence around this. Um, it's still not looking perfect because trees and stuff missing. However, what you can already tell, and I think this is beautiful, um, it gets the vibe of a real attraction, like from a, from a theme park. And um, this is exactly what I wanted to achieve with it. This is also why we will only have like a little bit of a nice path in front of here. And I'm not entirely sure which one I'm gonna go for, but I want to go with a spooky one. And maybe this is gonna be the rustic path dark, or we are going to go actually with, I just wouldn't, it doesn't fit. Like this temple obsidian is also maybe good. We have the stone, but I the volcanic one is also not too shabby. If the grout would have been all the sand would be darker. Ah, I'm very hesitant. Maybe this one is good because this is the typical kind of graveyard vibe going on. Yeah, I'm very uncertain to which one I'm gonna go for. Maybe this block path over here or this one. I think I'm gonna go with this first and I'm just gonna drag this uh, over here as like a little viewing area. You know, this is gonna be a viewing experience in the front and I'm just gonna connect this uh, via this path over here. I'm just gonna try to yeah maintain this one and then I'm uh, just gonna do the same-ish thing over here just like that and then we could potentially put a couple of trees and stuff like that in in the center and this is where our staff members will be able to get in and what i'm going to do over here is the same as i did before maybe we take the hexagonal path over here i quite like this one um and we're going to bring this very close around here oops and the problem again being maybe we can yeah gosh i okay see i'm gonna do it this way but we have to one of those have to be a staff path i'm just gonna make this path yeah ah, whatever you gotta have to cover this up or whatever these are so ugly i don't ah, why are they so ugly okay let's uh, save the game real quick oh gosh i have i i'm becoming a notorious saver right now because this is going to start to be so annoying um with all the crashes and stuff on but you know it is the way it is and now let's bring in the animals oh wait i can't because the habitat is not fully finished let's quickly do this edit the barrier and we're just gonna bring in um the barrier see also one fun thing to do i thought about is bring these viewing domes in the center uh into the house but uh yeah, this no, it, it should be a shelter for the animals, so I don't want to annoy the animals in the shelter. But I thought it was a fun idea to get into the uh, haunted house itself, but it's it's not very much needed, is it? So I I guess this is the way to go. Okay, cool. Look, we've done this, and now let's go into the animals trading. There you go. And we're gonna go animal storage, and we say hyena, and the oops, we have the other one, striped hyena. There you go, and select our bunch, and bring them into the habitat. There you go, unpause the game. And while we're doing so, we can already go and get ourselves a couple of locks and stuff in. Um, so first of all, let me just get some dead trees. So there you go, broken human... I'm, I'm not sure if they like them, but I'm just going to drop a couple of broken trees in, because this is like a dead area. And then we can later on check if they like them or not, or if we can just squeeze them in despite. I mean, the birch tree is also should be working, the dead tree. Uh, let me go in here again. So there's the bird. Nothing, nothing over here is dead, but we need dead trees. Hello, where are you? There's that one climbable dead tree, which always works wonders, but... This is another one. All the roots over here can also be used. Strength of big roots. We've got the tangled liana. It's okay. We just don't need that one. A couple of rocks. Mm -mm. We've got, yeah, we've got these smaller ones that potentially will be used later. But yeah, like a little, a tad bit too small, to be honest. Okay, can I type in dead? No, I can't. Okay, so birch. I know that there is this. There you go. The broken. Oh, it's all called broken. This is why. It's a, if I type in broken, do I get... Okay, I mostly got all of them. This is the one. This is the one I wanted to have. This is the one. Uh, 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 uh. This is the one, and that's the other one. Okay, so I'm going to put all of these already in, uh, just to have them. And then we go in and say striped hyena. So that is going to make our life a bit more simple in terms of placing down certain items. And you know what? I'm... I'm just going to say no free build over here because I want to... Okay, it's still doing its thing. Um, let's put that one here. 
And then we can put this one. <laughs> it's so wild that it still is kind of rotated. It's so weird. Um, there are the animals. Look, that is fine. Gonna put the Praetor here. Uh, Size-wise, we should have absolutely no issue with this build. Uh, should be absolutely size-wise uh, nice. And we can also just put a large bedding in here. There goes. All right, heck, I had another two crashes, and so I just had to finish the habitat uh, before, because, you know, I don't know why it was always crashing, but I thought, you know, in order to not get more frustrated, I first of all finished the habitat uh, before recording again, so hopefully I can recover the other two recordings, so not too much is uh, lost, but... Uh, this is the final version of the build. You can see I added like a little staircase up here with a couple of, uh, you know, little trees and stuff. And our striped hyenas are doing good, which um, actually they are new because I lost the other one. So I lost money, I lost cre uh, conservation credits, and I also lost progress, which is not great. So, yeah, it remains a little bit of an issue here with the franchise mode I still have, it seems. Uh, one thing I wanted to do with you guys together is I wanted to basically do something about these... Uh, two things here. Let's just get rid of these things. Uh, there we go. And I'm just going to lower these two down. And what we're going to do, we are in the twilight segment. We are going to keep this thing like a huge gate. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to basically copy this one around um, just as it is, you know, like so. And we do the same on the other thing, um, just rotating this one around like this and what we're going to do from over here is we are just going to use this on the ground now and going to put this gate in the center almost like i'm just gonna add this one so it kind of works here and then we're going to rotate this the other way around and i thought you know a couple of little things i want to do with you together and we always make it seem as if it's like slightly slightly open and we're gonna put like with a chain there was like a change uh, actually this pack my god I forgot how good this pack was but there's like everything in this pack that you need um, but I'm just gonna type a chain there is this twi it is a twilight chain though but I, I didn't see that I, I was blind um, I'm just gonna put this chain somewhat in here and let's just drop it down as if it's connected whatever so it's that and we have like a little gate in here um i really think that this is the way to go um where we just be oh gosh is this one animated even oh yeah it is so i i definitely want to have this one up here somewhere maybe or maybe just on the way up just gonna put this on the side here yeah and then like another one up that level just as that final bit over here. Awesome. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go with heavy rock over here. Increase the intensity. Lower this one. And I'm just going to just gonna put rock over here. And find rock too. There you go. So it's a bit nicer embedded. Yeah, I, I do like that. I do like that. And now let's put a couple of facilities in, like benches and stuff. And um, then we're done. We're done with this habitat, which was a lot of fun to do. Uh, and I, it, again, took longer than it should because the game crashing and so on. That's the try. I'm, I'm sorry, but as great as the pieces are, these things are basically not usable. Like, I, for me personally... And this European classic bench is more spooky than the spooky bench. It just isn't fitting. But okay, you know, it's not a it's not a deal breaker. It's okay. It's gonna put one here, another one here, another one here, and another one here. There you go. Um, and then we can also put these classic bins. I think these classic bins are great. And then what we also need to have is like donation bins. Oops, I, oh my God. Uh, Indonesian bin. Okay, well, no, donation bin. Not in donation. It's donation. Okay, I mean, you donate donate in to the bin, but you, it's not. Oh, come on. I, just, I should stop. <laughs> Gonna put this next to the gate here. Oops, and uh, not into the gate. Next to the gate. Just rotate that again into the gate. Oh, stupid. There you go. And education habitat sign. I, I believe over here there's no power either. So. They don't really make that much sense if, as of now. Yeah, there's no power. Um, can you just put another facility? De -de 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 power. And how about the wind thingy? I think we need to put like a transformer down here. To just cover everything that is in here. And then just connect the path to here. Whatever. It's fine. It's hidden to the side. I don't care. We can, we can just use that bush over here a little. Oops. What did I do? 
Get me that bush. Okay. There you go. Just throw in a couple of others and, and to make that at least from the standpoint of the people hidden away. Okay, cool. Last but not least, I need some greenery for the ground here. And um, what I want to do... Also, I'm very happy that they like the Weeping Willow because, you know, a Haunted House without the Weeping Willow wouldn't have worked. So I'm very happy that this actually worked. Um, so what am I going to use for the ground? That's a big question. I think in this specific case, we can go with this one again. I think that is a good addition. This can be like a lot of greenery, just, you know, throwing that in here. We'll, we'll make it look good enough and... Just going here with, with kind of smaller ones to just fill in the gaps. There you go. And then even smaller ones to fill in even the tighter gaps. There you go. Maybe to this corner. And then the smallest one to fix that area there. Same goes over here. And honestly, there's really not that much. Like, let's go to sapling. And I felt like an oak sapling in here can still work to not, you know, cover up too much. I don't want to make this, you know, look weird because we have something in the way gonna put like a beech tree sapling here and then that's it i think we you know what when we did this over here we can also do the same on the other side like a little bit bring that a little bit over ah well the game just crashed again you've seen my progress but i'm simply not doing that again with recording so i'm gonna end the episode over here you guys have seen what i've done uh god uh, yeah, it's starting to become a little bit of a pain um, with franchise mode for me personally. I don't have any simple single crashes on the normal sandbox builds I do, but I do have crashes in the franchise all of the time, so that is a painful thing uh, to say and to, you know, just deal with. But um, yeah, I will end this episode over here. I thought, you know, this is going to be a fun challenge, and so it was. And I am really, really, really happy with the finished build. You know, one thing I'm going to do for you is let's just one final time uh, get ourselves over here. Just hope that the game will do it for us and just watch over to the other. There you go. That is the finished look to the other side. And oh my God, so much I want to go there. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy today's episode, please make sure to, you know, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also make sure to check if you're still subscribed because YouTube likes to desubscribe people now for whatever reason they do. It's confirmed by so many creators that this is happening. I am still not sure why. And if you guys are missing out on especially the Twilight Pack and you don't have it, make sure to go down to my description, use my instant gaming lo uh, link and check out the Twilight Pack. It is amongst the best packs. If you've seen that in my ranking video, uh, I have ranked this super high up. And in this specific build, you've seen why, because like the pieces are so versatile and nice and just get it and don't be confused by the fact it's a weirdly themed pack for a zoo game. It is absolutely crushing it. Really lovely. And so thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful weekend ahead and I talk to you in the next one. Goodbye.